Pikachu, wait! I can't run that fast! Where'd you go? I can't see you. We got you now, Pikachu. Don't let go. Jesse, get the Pokeball. Hey, that's my Pikachu. Beat it, twerp. We found him and we caught him fair and square. Pikachu, discharge. Ow. Why, you little twerp? Nice one, Pikachu. Now let him go. Wait a minute, you're Team Rocket. Watch where you're pointing that finger, kid. This is the second time you've ruined our plans, and you hurt our friend, James. Listen here, you little twerp. We're gonna make you pay. You better watch your back, kid, because we're gonna strike when you least expect it. Back again, Pokemon fans. This time with another figure review. Today we'll be looking at... Greninja. This is the search for Ash. A Greninja story. If you're looking to find out whether the figure is worth it, it absolutely is. It's a fun character and a great figure. Let's get back to our story. So this is Greninja. He's a dark type water Pokemon. As the name suggests, he's also a ninja, trained in the art of ninjutsu. He's also a frog, so he's right at home in the water. Greninja has trained really hard to master all of his skills. He runs like a ninja. He's stealthy and quick, almost invisible. And he's a master of the martial arts. He didn't have all these skills before. He had to study and learn from his good friend, Ash. This is Red. He's a new trainer to our story. He's friends with Ash. Not too long ago, Red started his own journey. One day while looking for water Pokemon, he stumbled into the Kalos region and saw a Pokemon that was unfamiliar to him. It was Greninja the ninja Pokemon. Red had never seen a fully evolved Froggy. He'd only heard stories of Ash and Greninja. He didn't realize that this is the same Greninja. Not wanting to be pursued, Greninja left. Red wasn't quite sure what he saw yet, and Greninja decided to swim upstream to continue his training. Greninja got a good look at the new trainer, thinking how similar he looked to Ash. Greninja could see the same passion. Putting that encounter behind him, Greninja got back to his training. Greninja knows the importance of staying disciplined, training day and night, studying, working hard, meditating, staying focused. Through discipline, he could achieve his goals, big or small. As the clouds roll in, Greninja calms his mind, and in the blink of an eye, Greninja displays all his skills. He had a great trainer, and he was forever thankful. What are we doing out here, Meowth? Since you two can't get your act together, I had to take matters into my own paws. I called a couple of friends to take care of that little twerp. What kind of friends? You're about to find out. Are those ninjas? <gasps> yep, and don't be such a scary Meowth. Hiya, boys. Thanks for meeting me here. Don't mind these two. I need you to take care of this little twerp and his Pokemon friends. They're about a half day journey that way, somewhere in the Kanto region. Bring the Pokemon to us and leave the little twerp scared. Ugh, I'm so glad they're gone. Meowth, couldn't you have just called them? They're ninjas, no traces, no phone calls. How'd you get a hold of him? I sent a carrier, Pidgey. But Meowth, 
Our running with the twerp was days ago. They could be anywhere now. It doesn't matter. The ninjas will find him no matter what. Would you two stop doubting the plan? They'll do the job. Just you wait and see. That little twerp's never gonna know what hit him. In that moment, a picky pack heard the whole conversation. Picky Peck is friends with Rowlet, who's friends with Dartrix, who flew over and let Decidueye know. Decidueye paused for a moment and then knew exactly who to go to. He took off right away. Decidueye found Greninja in the Kalos region. He told him the whole story. He thought Greninja would be the best one to protect Ash from these other ninjas. Decidueye offered to carry Greninja. Greninja said thank you, but I would rather Ninja run. There's quite a few Alolan Pokemon nearby. I wonder why. The chase was on. Greninja knew it was only a matter of time. The sun is setting, and he has a lot of work to do. He's going in search of Ash, and he could be anywhere. His first thought, get to the water. Greninja put together a quick plan. He was going to revisit all of Ash's water Pokemon. And his first stop, the Johto region. Greninja went in search of Totodile. Ash had mentioned him before, and sure enough, he found him. Totodile led him to Mudkip. These two just played a prank on Ash not that long ago. Mudkip mentioned some Alolan Pokemon. But it was already late, and Greninja knew he needed to rest. Greninja took a nice rest. And then he ran through the night, knowing that he had to make it to his friend Ash. He knew he had to stay calm and stay focused. When the sun rose again, Greninja was well on his way. He found the mysterious Alolan Pokemon, Popplio and Primarina. They mentioned Ash helping another trainer, a trainer by the name of Red in the Kanto region. That's when Greninja remembered he'd run into Red. Greninja found Squirtle. Taking a rest for a moment, he collected himself. He was tired from the journey. He got the last bit of information from the Kanto region Pokemon. And after taking a minute, and meditating, regrouping, refocusing. He was good as new. Those creepy ninjas had a really hard time finding Ash as well. Now, while on the trail, it was only a matter of time. Greninja could feel it. This was the final push, the last chance. He had to be a bit more careful now. Those ninjas could be nearby. They could sneak up on him, too. He didn't want to slow down, but he wanted to be smart. Finally, just ahead, near the water, he could hear a familiar voice. It was Ash and company, safe and sound. No sign of any ninjas yet. Greninja wasn't ready to reveal himself. He wanted to stay hidden in the shadows, ready to protect his friends. As happy as he was, he stayed focused on his task. Ash and Red took a break from finding Pokemon to have lunch. And in the middle of the meal, the ninjas arrived. Lightning fast, Greninja made short work of both ninjas. Neither Ash or Red saw or heard anything. Keeping them both away from harm, Greninja could now unleash his water abilities. Using Water Sword, Surf, and Water Shuriken. These two don't stand a chance. Greninja focused and focused hard. Now that he was near Ash again, he could feel the power that he had before. When the two of them became one, he became... Ash Greninja. Then his abilities were ten times stronger. Ash could feel his friend nearby. 
Greninja, is that you? Ash Greninja used Water Shuriken. It was like Ash was right there with him. Ash Greninja was ready to deliver a couple of gifts to Team Rocket. Those ninjas should have already taken care of that twerp. Get ready, you two. We're about to get a whole lot of new Pokemon. Gah! Who is that? Hey, those are our ninjas. Run! He's throwing that thing at us. So much for the ninjas. Team Rocket is blasting off again. So there you go, Pokemon fans. Greninja and the search for Ash. Thumbs up to the figure. This figure was a lot of fun. Super posable. Fitting for a ninja figure. Now that Greninja completed his task, he didn't have to hide anymore. Snorlax could sense him up in the trees. Ash took notice right away that Snorlax sensed something. What do you see, Snorlax? It's probably that dirty Team Rocket. No, I think it's something else. I felt something earlier that I haven't felt in a long time. There was a loud thud behind Snorlax. Not having to be quite as stealthy, Greninja finally shows his face. It is you, Greninja. You can come out. It's okay. Hey, I've seen this Pokemon before. This is Greninja. He's a good friend of mine. Have you been following us all this time? Greninja, this is my friend Red. I'm so happy to see you. Ash and Greninja took a minute to catch up. Greninja told Ash the whole story. Ash was surprised and happy and grateful. It was quite a story and quite a journey. Wow, Greninja, you really came a long way. Thank you so much. Ash had done so much for him in the past. And now he was happy to return the favor. Red watched Ash and Greninja from a distance. He admired their friendship. He hopes that someday he can have the same friendship with his Pokemon. His journey's only starting, and there's plenty of room for good stories. Don't you think so, Charmander? Thanks for tuning in, Pokemon fans. Hopefully you enjoyed the story. If you want to talk about the figure, just let me know whatever your questions are in the comments down below. I still think Tomy did a great job with their figures, and I'm really going to miss the company. My Greninja had a loose left knee, but I put a little putty on the knee, and it helped support the figure. If you watch the video again, you can see it in different places. Not a big deal. I don't really think there's a perfect toy, and I think in trying to figure out how to make it work or fix it, it actually makes it that much more special. So stay tuned, Pokemon fans. I have a lot more to come, and I'll look forward to seeing you and Greninja and all the other Pokemon in the next one.